it's date night and that means we're vlogging. Because what else do we do in our lives? Nothing, we just sit at home all day. <laughs> I'm gonna put this back here. What the, what the, what the heck? What? He say no. <laughs> Look how cute you are, man. Mm. Okay, I can just eat you up. Yeah. He's so cute. Okay. I'm, 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 no. Okay, where's your eye? No. Okay, say no. no. Say no, Levi. Hey. What's up, guys? Welcome to another vlog. It is so bright. I know, we can hardly look at this <laughs> camera. Some of you may have noticed that we took down this video and are now re uploading it. And that's because... We have a reason. You guys got crazy on us. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, if, if there are those of you that saw our last video, we were making a video of me and Sutton and there our two goes. little ones. He's getting ready to step off a cliff. Okay, you get, uh, are you getting ready to step off that big cliff? Uh, <laughs> okay. Anyway, we were driving in the car to the pool, which, by the way... The pool is right behind that tree. <laughs> so this is our road. Ooh. Pool. Safer in our opinion than walking. Safer than a golf cart, which a lot of our neighbors and stuff ride golf carts around here. Yeah, so we're not promoting that you should, we should be driving with our kids without seat belts. But a lot of y'all, uh, so what happened was a lot of y'all got on our case about driving <laughs> them in the front seat without the seat belts on or without them in their car seats we're not saying it's okay to drive with your kids without seat belts but i don't think we made in the video very clear how close the pool is it's literally a, would you say a 15 second drive yeah a 15 second drive and people drive in our neighborhood all the time on a golf carts and a certain sister has almost been hit by a car walking in the neighborhood with her children but still i we we didn't make it clear that's what we were doing and so I, so we took the video down. People were saying they were gonna like call CPS on us and stuff for not buckling our kids. Yeah, so we just gotta be careful on that. We're just gonna, getting used to, was that a lizard? Oh what? no, oh, that was his hand. I thought a lizard was oh touching my, my arm. <laughs> I killed a snake last night on our porch and so I'm a little paranoid. But anyway, um, yeah, so we definitely are all for putting your kids in their seat belts and- We're all for safety. We would never do anything to put our kids in danger. But anyway, so we took that part out and we put this in instead. So enjoy the video. Here. Okay, come down the hill. Come on. Oh. <laughs> he does this every day and doesn't fall. Look, he doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. You tough. Okay, did that hurt? Say I'm tough. Say I'm tough. <laughs> We're going on the fanny ride. <laughs> Collins, who are you? I'm <laughs> 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 Oh, I can't see. <laughs> you got your superhero outfit on? Yeah, we can't let people see you. All right, what we're doing is Nathaniel's about to kill this dinosaur bug that flew in our house the other day. And I have a like a suspicion that this is like a prank of some sort. It's not. She said that she trapped this massive bug underneath the blinds. And, let's and just I don't say, think he's going to be able to kill it. Like if he can kill this bug, I'm going to be shocked. Let's just say that bug killing is not my best skill. No, it's not. <laughs> But he's got his cape on, so <laughs> maybe he can do it. Look at it flying in the wind. <laughs> this is my intimidation factor. So you're saying it's under here? Yeah. What do you think? It should just... Well, how the heck? I have to push it up. What if it hits my fingers? I don't know. You gotta figure it out. It's part of it. Well, should I just open it like this? No, because you can't get in there to kill it. Maybe I should slightly open it to see where it's at. Okay. 
Is this some kind of prank? No. You're like in the pranking mood lately. You're scaring me. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> is that the prank? No. There really is a bug. Oh, there it is. You see him? Yeah. Okay, let me show it. It's not that big. That was such a exaggeration. It is. Look at that thing. It probably on the camera looks like a fly. Okay, that thing is like as big as my pinky, if you can not tell how big it is. It is pretty big, but not like you were talking about. Here it goes, people. Watch Dad on Father's Day. <laughs> No way you got it. What do you mean, no way? You did? Yeah, look at it. It's right there. Do a close-up. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. It's like he's sitting in Put the grave. Put your finger there just to, sh <laughs> to show how big it is. Well, uh... Stop! <laughs> So I tell you, something that I've been doing recently that I feel like has been life-changing is when I'm hanging out with this little guy, I get my little time, which way? <laughs> this way. I get my time with him at the end of the day that I do not go on social media. I don't check my emails. I don't check Instagram, Facebook. And I really just give him my undivided attention. And especially for me, I work from my home. I work from my cell phone. It can be really easy for me to fall into the trap of like watching him and then checking my phone. And before I know it, I'm spending like a lot of time on my phone. That's not good. That's not good. I don't think that's something I would look back on my life one day and be proud of. And I got to give credit where credit's due. Sutton, my wife, calling me out on it. But yeah, for those of you parents out there, I highly suggest when you're watching your kids, when you're playing with your kids, give them your undivided attention. You won't regret it. They're worth it. Mommy's little man. You ready to show us your room? You're the star today. Hello guys. Welcome to my room tour. Come on in. Welcome to Halston's room. Just look at it. It's still not done, but we just figured we'd show you guys anyways. Okay, let's just start here. So this, <clears throat> if you guys remember, I posted a picture at Christmas time. I hang these on our stockings and I was so nervous. I wasn't going to find an H for him because Hobby Lobby doesn't sell them anymore, but I found one on my app that I've told you guys about before. It's called Mercari. If you want to get on it, we can link it below. But that's where I found that. So I'm very happy about it. And this is his little shelf. Still no picture in the frame. Look how cute he is. <laughs> my dad got this for him in Kenya. How cool is that? They uh, The Kenyans carved that. How talented. That's pretty sweet. Got his little uh, ultrasound picture. Cute. Do y'all think he looks like him? <laughs> I kind of see it. This is his closet. About me and Nathaniel is that with baby clothes, we're minimalists. Look at this closet. Literally, that's it. So those are all his clothes right there. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. He's got a drawer, but like right now, we're only using one drawer for the things that fit him right now. And you can see how little this drawer is. Like everything that he wears right now is in this drawer. Speaking of this drawer, tell them about this big mama. So this we found on Facebook Marketplace. I had to go pick it up, which... And he had such an attitude about it. No, I did you know, not. This was the only thing I asked him to do to contribute to this room. <laughs> okay, this rug I got at World Market. And it actually came with a stain on it. Or it wasn't even a stain, but the fabric was a different color. And in a spot, and they sent me a brand new one. And like, didn't make me send the other one back, which I thought was very nice. And then we have this blackout curtain. So these make the room really dark. And I got these at Target. Why don't you tell him how many hours this little guy slept last night? He has been in his own crib for the past two nights now. So Which was kind of scary for us. Yeah, he's getting big. And he made it from, I fed him at 8.30 and then he slept all the way until 6.15. That's like what, nine hours? I haven't counted it, but that's good. And let me just go ahead and mention before everyone calls me out. I know that some of these things in this room have tags on it, okay? I just haven't had the chance to take them off yet. Her and her mom, <laughs> I gotta say that about, her and her mom are so funny about, like, if you go in her parents' house, like, half the things in their house still have tags on them. Like, She's gonna kill you for saying that. But y'all, you have to, like, live with something for a little bit to, before you realize that you really like it. Like, you gotta live with it before you commit. 
Like that shelf still has the tag on it right there, but that I'm committed to that, so that needs to come off. <laughs> Look there the tag is. We're gonna make a video about how to get your baby to sleep through the night because because we got a professional here. And do y'all do you think his eyes are blue? So we, we've been going over this debate with our family, whether his eyes are blue or not. Some people say they're blue, some people say they're gonna be brown. I think they're gonna be blue, because he wants to be like me. Whatever. Everyone says he looks like me. Get some cuddles. He's sweet, baby. Cuddles in there. Thumbs up for baby noises. <laughs> the pillows are also from Target. Crib is Pottery Barn. I feel like it's a really different style than Oakland's crib because this is like a lot more modern, which I like. And then my favorite part of this room is this name sign that we got made for him. So we found this girl on Instagram and her shop is called Pearl and Pine. And y'all, she is so talented. I chose something really simple because this is what I wanted, but she does like everything. She puts animals on the things and like, it's like real art what she's doing. It's not normal, like name signs. <laughs> so go check her out. We'll put her link in the description and you can also find her on Instagram. And then the wall is another thing that I love. This is my favorite. Yeah, so we got this from, um, we found this guy, well, I found this guy on Marketplace a long time ago. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Who is kind of just like a handyman. And he's been doing all kinds of stuff around our house for a while now. And he, I showed him a picture of this wall and he just did it. He nailed it. And I know that a lot of y'all were asking the color when I posted the picture on Instagram. Y'all are asking what the paint color is, and I don't know it off the top of my head, but we'll also put that in the description. We'll go look at the can and tell you what it's called. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. We keep it simple around here. I told Nathaniel, I said, I think we'll live in this house until we move out, and it still won't be considered done in my eyes because it's just like, it just takes so long. I want, I like things to mean something, and like everything, I just like to love everything that's in here. <laughs> oh, and the light's pretty cool. It's the same light as Oakland's, but it's black, and we got it on Amazon. Did you enjoy your room? I'm ready to go night night. Levi likes it. Does everyone think that Levi should be in the intro, or is the intro already too long? Or should we make it longer to fit? Oh, look how big he looks. Or should we make it longer to fit little buddy in there? We love Levi, but we just didn't know if the intro should be super long. When Levi was a puppy, he had blue eyes, and now look how pretty they turned to show his eyes. Look, they're like gold. You go, boy boy. He's finally recovered from his ACL surgery, thank God. Yes. He can play again. His head looks so big <laughs> with this wide angle. You good, Bobby. Burp it out. Can we get the whole family on the beanbag? Oh, God. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, do you want to do more vlogs? Uh, do you like showing people who you are? Uh, do you want to talk more to the world? Do you want to show them all your toys and tricks? Uh, yeah, what about you, Halston? Whoa, almost dropped the phone on our faces. On his face. All right, guys, well, that was fun. Hope you enjoyed it. More vlogs to come soon. This family's just getting started. All right, we're losing them. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>